This is the Ford Steel Division complex on the Rouge River in Dearborn, Michigan. million ton capacity to help meet the requirements of Ford's manufacturing divisions and parts suppliers throughout the United States. This runs about half the steel that the Ford Motor Company consumes, and so the division is insulated somewhat from the market variations experienced by the rest of the industry. However, we're far from insulated from some common problems that all of us in the steel business must cope with. Capital costs for improvement, shortages, rapidly escalating costs of raw material, just to mention a few. One of the bright spots in the picture has been the evolution of computer technology. That makes it practical to apply new techniques to decision making and coping with some of the problems that we all face. We just couldn't keep to the high levels and quality of production that we do without our plant-wide operation information system. It's an online computer system that gives everyone who needs it a handle on what's happening, from customer orders, scheduling, processing, to shipping, as well as planning and managing the entire division. But do you want to get out black and hot roll? Come the end of next week, you want to push that real hard, because that's our only shot at, at making a shipping bogey, is to turn on the in short, we've got a single information source, constantly updated, available plant-wide for all our operations and management people. And I'm not aware of anybody else in the steel business in America today who uses it as extensively as we do. Ten years ago, we discovered that the data in our manual control documents was redundant. The manual recording was error-prone, and some of the documents were just not delivered on time. The opportunity for savings and better controls was clear. Since then, we've continued to expand the operations information system in phases, as we proved we could justify it. Our return on investment convinces us we will keep on going until we close the loop completely, until we've put an electronic tag, so to speak, on every item, moving or standing still, wherever it is in the plant. First, let's take a look at how we use the operation information system to track the steel making process. We start tracking by heat number at the basic oxygen furnaces. melted chemistry of each heat is entered, and the computer tells us the amount and kind of additives that will give us the best possible use of that heat when it's screened against the customer orders already entered in the system. Comparing the new method to the old, we save more than $10,000 a month at this station alone. physical characteristics. A report on ingots in transit, down to their very arrangement on the rail transfer cars, electronically arrives at the slabbing mill about 10 minutes before they do. The production coordinator assigned to the soaking pits that reheat ingots to working temperature verifies their arrival. 
The pit numbers, ingot positions and sizes, their metallurgical makeup, and the reheating times required are all available to him on the CRT terminal within four seconds. Here it comes now. It was a big day when we erased the traditional blackboard. Now the computer automatically schedules the sizes of the slabs to which each individual ingot will be rolled. The computer also supplies a production schedule containing data on the identification, specifications and chemistry of the different heats. This schedule is used throughout the slabbing mill by foremen and operators to monitor production. We came across some unexpected savings in the slabbing mill. Using our old system, it turned out we were scarfing 90% of all the slabs. We've cut that number down to roughly 48%. We're saving on crop shearing, too, since the operator now has customized information as to how closely to shear individual slabs. Throughout the slabbing mill operation, the foreman can monitor status of individual heats, pit conditions, cold ingot inventories, and inspect the production log that lists every ingot roll. Also, the slab mill superintendent can use a terminal in his office to check up to the minute tonnage reports, mill delays, and production schedule status. Slabs are selected from the slab yard by computer for sequencing through the hot strip mill, according to both customer orders that require filling and mill conditions. entry is tracked and slabs are extracted automatically to provide optimum feed rate. Then sensors track the slabs through key stations on their way to be rolled into strip. The hot strip mill is our first location to install distributed data processing function within the system. The next location to get this capability will be the cold mill. And then the computer automatically calculates the appropriate rolling stand settings, which are based on entry size and hardness, number of stands in operation, and the scheduled exit size of the material. By the way, this use of sensors to automatically track material and record its status has greatly reduced the amount of manpower required. The process has become strictly look ma, no hands. At the end of the hot strip mill, every coil is marked and weighed and each coil adds a new line to our production log summary that is used throughout the plant. I think that gives you a pretty good idea of the level of detail and the kind of control our online operation system provides. Right now, we're installing the system in our coal mills, and we plan to extend it to every part of our facility.
We've talked about operations. Let's talk about filling orders. Online terminals and instantaneous updating of computer files naturally speed up order entry and shipping procedures. Production planning people who generate the mill orders and master shipping schedules can easily balance available product and customer orders because they are fully aware of our product mix, open mill capacities, and available supplies. We've got available to ship reports that display all available finished steel, including detailed information by coil and by package, as well as the storage location for each item. Our total daily mill order activity report is online, and our release or shipping order cards are automatically printed by computer as well. You can imagine there's been a considerable decrease in all of the typing required by our old manual system. We've got an online shipment summary by day and month of all product and transportation modes. We've got customer totals reported by product, customer, destination, and mode of transportation, as well as quantities past due, current, and future. All of this instant information, as you might imagine, has proven to be invaluable to our accounting people, and it helps tremendously in sales analysis. During the past 10 years, product type complexity has increased sevenfold to a current level which now exceeds 100 types. We've been able to reduce inventory levels and improve both the quantity and the quality of our yield. We've improved customer service by sending the steel chemistry report with the product and we've substantially cut losses on stock that would have been scrapped by simply checking our order list for a possible new match. Overall, I'd say our online operations information system has performed for us very well. It provides a turnaround demanded by the dynamics of a mill environment. We can all access the same information, and that information is current and up to the minute, and it's accurate. Product identity is maintained throughout. Operating instructions are customized at every step through constant interaction with the computer. We use our manpower and materials more effectively. Plant management is better informed than ever with timely online reports of detailed performance and operating statistical data to evaluate our procedures on a daily basis. The more we've come to use this system, the more we've come to depend on it, demand from.